Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In this tarot card reading, I'm going to be looking at the energy between you and the person that you're dealing with. There is going to be an extended reading for those of you that are interested. If you'd like to find out what's going on in your life, and you're not interested in love, you can check out the other tarot card readings on this channel. So what is happening in Sagittarius's love life? For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. Okay, so let's start with your energy, Sagittarius. What I'm noticing is that many of you are at a point in which you have a choice to make. It feels as if you're dealing with a situation that you put a lot of thought into. I'm picking up this energy of contemplation from you and picking up this energy of you questioning, you know, how can you best approach the situation? Because you have a lot of power and energy behind you during this time. Now, many of you are exuding a sense of confidence as well as the sort of energy which is associated with a person that is wanting to take a leadership role, you know, wanting to call the shots, wanting to be the one that uh, moves forward. So this is a very pronounced and powerful energy. It's all about being a go-getter. And this is applying to your love life, of course. I feel like for many of you, there's a sense of you wanting to step up to the platform, wanting to claim a situation, wanting to move things forward. You're coming from a place where there's a lot of ego involved, right? But I'm going to come back to these energies in a moment. Now, what is connecting the two of you? There are two factors here. There's a new beginning that is staring you in the face and staring your person in their face. But I feel like this new beginning is something that is taking the two of you to two different paths, right? And it's sort of creating a deviation. So you're going in one direction, they're going in another direction. I'm sensing that some of you are at a point in which you have a choice whether you want to move forward with this connection with this individual or perhaps you want to move away from this connection with this person, right? Now, this new beginning, it feels like it's disappointing, not just for you, but for this individual concerned. You may have looked and seen, you know, what are the other possibilities when it comes to love? You could be, you know, checking other people out. Your person could be checking other people out because at the moment I feel like both you and this individual are emotionally detached from each other. I don't pick up uh, much pain in your energy. I pick up the energy of you wanting to move forward, wanting to make up your mind, you know, which is the right way going forward for you as a person. It feels as if you're putting your needs first. Now, I feel like somewhere along the line, perhaps you or this individual concerned came to a realization that, you know, things might or might not work out between the two of you. And that's where plan B is coming into play. It feels as if both you and this individual are looking around to see what are the other possibilities in love and happiness. Now, from your person's energy, very interestingly, we see the cards which are indicating, you know, a sense of loss, a sense of regret. There's something going on with your person because I feel like there's you know, two shades of this individual. On one hand, they come up as being very cold, resentful, sad about some of the experiences they've had. They might have had a few disappointments along the way. It doesn't feel as if it's directly connected to you. It feels as if it's connected to other people and uh, the circumstances of their life. But they're coming off as a very cold and um, distant type of individual that is sort of, uh, you know, drowning in their sorrows. I'm getting that sort of uh, energy from them, right? But then on the other hand, what's more interesting is that there's a sense of this person, you know, um, 
stepping away to brood about what has happened in their life. But I feel and pick up this energy of um, impatience from them. For some reason, I'm getting impatience. I'm getting the fact that this person keeps staring at the clock or perhaps uh, keeps looking at the situation and thinking to themselves that uh, something is sipping from them. You know, it feels like they can't save time in a bottle. It feels like that type of energy. And there's a desperation coming through from this individual as well, which is making them want to go out, live their life, have fun, you know, do the things that they've always wanted to do, right? Which is very unusual, but I'm definitely picking that up. It feels as if the person you're dealing with is not really prepared to um, offer a sense of commitment to you or to any other person around the situation. And uh, that could be due to the resentment and the difficult emotions that they've been experiencing. Your person is coming off as someone that is looking for another individual to fill a void, right? And I feel like you're quietly observing the situation. There's a part of you that wants to bring that love to this person concerned. And it feels like they might be communicating to other individuals. It feels as if they could be, um, you know, doing things for some of you that seem to be frivolous as well as irresponsible, not for all of you. Your person could be, you know, doing the opposite of that. But it, this feels like the type of energy of where a person feels like something is missing on the inside and they're looking at um, who can come in and fill that void. It feels like that sort of energy. It feels like they're not very committal to you or the other people around. I'm also picking up a sense of this individual, you know, um, not being able to focus. It feels as if they are under some sort of time crunch. It feels like that sort of energy where they can't really focus or concentrate for too long. It's like their mind is drifting from one thing to another. And this is an energy that's not a frenzy. It's not a frenzied type of behavior. It's the type of restlessness that comes with certain situation. Perhaps some people, you know, they overdrink coffee. It's just um, an analogy. Sometimes they overdrink coffee and they get very anxious. They can't really focus. They're trying to focus. They're looking, you know, in each and every direction, trying to figure out things. You know, it feels like that sort of uh, thing that is coming across here. Now you, I feel like your energy, you want change and you're quietly contemplating change. I feel like you want to take baby steps towards change and you're wanting to infuse love into the situation. You can see this person is distracted. You can see that their mind is elsewhere. You can't get them to focus on you. You can't get them to focus on anything. It feels as if they're chasing after butterflies and you're trying to make them see you. You're trying to make them see that you have love to offer and they are not really recognizing that. So from the cards that we have here, we see that, you know, initially the two of you started off in a manner in which there was a great deal of devotion and love and attraction and desire and you were willing to do whatever it takes. And then we have a sense of um, these energies here which are indicating that someone is stuck in their own world. This feels like your person's energy, right? It doesn't feel like your energy. It feels like your person's energy who's stuck in these different types of walls. And I feel like you're watching this individual sort of malfunction or go through the motions of life, not really understanding why they're doing some of the things that they're doing. It feels very robotic. It feels like, you know, um, you're watching a fellow robot go about doing things and maybe they are a little bit broken here and there and you're trying to fix it. You're trying to... Um, make them turn around and see that you've been standing there all along and this individual is not recognizing it. So what is truly going on with your person? I feel like they're looking for escapism. I feel like they're looking for something that is um, a source of you know pleasure. But I also feel like they're giving you mixed signals because on one hand, they could be very hot. They could be very uh, pursuant of you. On the other hand, they could be very cold. They could be very distant. And I feel like Either this person is getting old or time is slipping through their fingers. It feels like that sort of energy and they're not really recognizing it to the full extent. You know, perhaps you've been struggling to get a commitment out of this individual, getting this individual to settle down. But um, how they portray themselves to you versus how they truly are, it's completely different to the real scenario that's playing out here. And I feel like you're wanting to offer this individual love. But this individual is sort of like on this merry-go-round of life 
and they could have their hands far reached out and they could be giggling and acting like everything is okay but there's something really demented and broken here right and i feel like this individual has a very uh, fragile or fractured heart right now i'm looking really deep into them it's like um you know it's missing something and this person doesn't know whether this is missing they just feel empty they feel this void they don't really understand how to fill it i hope this tarot card reading is resonating i really had to look very deep into these energies it feels like some of you are dealing with a person that has uh you know, an inability to recognize that there's certain parts of themselves that are broken. And I feel like you want to do whatever it takes for this individual and picking up a lot of changeability in your energies as you become more silent. I feel like you want to pour that love into this person to make them feel whole. And this very likely could be your soulmate. They might not just recognize it. They might not be able to recognize that you are the missing piece to their puzzle, right? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. I basically covered what was mentioned in the thumbnail, right? What is going on with your person. So I hope it provided you with a lot of introspection. Have a wonderful day and take care.